trying again. Welcome back. It's you and me, mate. What hours you got to give me sharp this five? How do you feel about it? I was quite loyal. Let's find out. Try this again. Blue of two. Loads of twos, just nothing good. Okay, fair enough. One more villager trade uh, since November, four months. number you just know it's not gonna be sharp this fine. Charge. You just know I'm gonna get like I bet you I get efficiency five before I get sharp this five. Doesn't wanna play nice today. Hi cryptic PFC. Nope. Sharpness 5 or no sale today. Or late. Bane of Arthropods 5 for 60. Don't do that very often. Thank you for the follow, Cryptic. Nope. We're not taking it. Sharpness 5 is the only viable deal we're getting today. That way I can move on with making the stonemasons and the extra raid villager. Come on mate, don't hold out on me today. the enchant library. Necro affinity for the second time. Take a profession. Oh good choice. Night book librarian. Sharpness five for chance? Oh. oh I'm breaking three for sixteen. Nice and cheap. It's cheaper than what I think I've got it. That place is 25, I think. You know the deal. It's not an unbreaking three kind of a day. It's a sharpness five kind of a day, my friend. You give me sharpness five. We don't have to talk about the mm, 
possible consequences of your actions. Protection two sounds like a bargain. I won. So, bane of arthropods five and unbreaking three. Chance three. Two decent enchants so far. Sixteen for unbreaking three. Alex, I'm sure that's better than mine. Yeah, unbreaking three for twenty one. <laughs> no, it's going to be that sort of day, is it? You can offer me all the good enchants this time round. Just not the one I want. Feather falling four for twenty nine. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Guess what we just found? Full price, but it's still sharpness five. Thank you very much. Sorted. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that quick. What was that? Six minutes. Wow, I spent like six hours on this a few few days ago. And you didn't give it to me. Hello, Sharpness 5. I don't know if I've got any signs, actually. Did I leave an extra sign? I don't think that I did. And I haven't got enough emeralds on me probably at the moment to even trade for it. I haven't got a full stack. Oh, I could go and get a full stack. No. Oh, this five. Cost 64, but that's a bargain. There's my man complete. Along with all the rest. So we've got a uh, fire aspect 2 for 15, smite 5 for 18, protection 4 for 17, thorns 3 for 22. I don't think I've got thorns, I've got thorns 3 on anything. Nope. 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 Nice. Should be buying some of that. Looting 3 for 20, feather falling 4 for 43, respiration 3 for 27. Depth try three for twelve. So let's just see if I can get a full stack and get a sharpness five because I'm sure my sword has sharpness four on it. I don't want to be a chad, do we? Let's uh, trade up some of our rotten flesh. Hello, everybody. Yes. You all want to trade, do you? That's good. We are here to trade. And of course they all sleep. <laughs> they always manage to do it. Every time I go to do something. So now I can one, two, three. Who are you? Who's that? Who are you? Okay. Right, now you can go to sleep. XP. Uh, leave a book in here. Did I leave a book? Hi, R2. So you already missed the big moment. Hang on. Do, do, do. I'll go and poke him. Look. You can go in. Six and a half minutes in. What are the odds? 
Wake up, mister. You'll have one of those, please. Thank you. Go back to bed. Don't die. So, we've got him, which means I can breed up some more, which means I can transport one more. Yeah, I know. Nah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> right, once we get emeralds, like, free of charge, it won't matter. I know, like, you can get it at a cheap price, but it's not really going to be a problem. Endless emeralds is the answer. Rather than spending time, yeah. got to do is decide where I put the new breeder. It's still a long way to get from breeder to market hall. I should really put either a minecart system in or a boat system in. Boat road, road, boat, ice road. Still a long old walk up and out. Just to make sure this is going to be not massively oh. <laughs> too expensive. I've already got to too expensive. That's fantastic. Well, at least I've got one. Next set of swords. I'll have to prep it properly so that we get everything on it. Infinity and protection for. I think I moved all the other books up to the enchant room. Yeah, I wanted to deal with these guys at some point. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's offload just the bits of paper and stuff. used it all up making the storage center i haven't finished the storage center I took the day off but uh i left that alone and went off and to something else cleared out a bit more space for the second part of the storage underneath so this is going to be that repeated at least in a similar style i think maybe i put my own twist to this one Build it the same setup, but maybe the design might change slightly. Um, yeah, so that's set up for that and that. So the entrance way down from storage goes into the same kind of thing. I might change what I do internally. Connect like the hidden uh, XP room, extend it. Yeah, so that connects to that. I dug out just a bit underneath, around the back of the stairs out as well, just to have a look and see what there was. This needs tidying up and sorting out. I think it's just got a mine shaft going through it. Obviously, water that needs clearing up. Uh, yeah, when we dug those. Mine shaft, so, so all of this needs doing at some point, um, but that's going to carry on going up in the direction it's facing. So storage hasn't changed. I didn't do anything else with the storage. Uh, it's still going to be coming straight down and stacking, and then extra chests maybe just filling up the spaces. So we've got to do all that at some point, put all the hoppers back in, put all the chests down. 
get that working fill out all the 41 items space 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 da 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 Look dark as well so much to do sometimes don't know where to start didn't think I was going to be six minutes in and get that complete um, oh I did the maze didn't I let's go up and have a look at the maze at the minute popped a couple of extra lights up on the trees because I like that little bit up so the maze looks quite good put in some lights under the maze as well I like that, that looks like looks quite good. I do like the way the maze looks. Very calming. Uh, and then behind that is the new tree system, and then across here I built prepped the raid farm so hopefully emeralds won't be a problem once I get the villager in and that's working but we have to get a villager down down they're over there so we've got to get him down the tunnel underneath all this up by the gold farm and I've got to build a pathway up and connect it to that pathway to get one villager in and what I'm thinking is if I move couple of villagers down this end and place them out over there somewhere we can make another villager breeder like a proper villager breeder maybe it's out of the way but then we'll funnel any villagers we need in slightly easier than the 900 blocks we have to travel at the moment although I don't want it to obviously interfere with any of these so we'll have to mark out roughly how close it can be pulsing um yeah to the like the iron farm because of the villagers so i'm thinking if that's at 190 i think anything at 63 should be fine as long as we don't bring it any closer than what we're at now so anything I build with villagers has to be outside of the main base we have to like put it further out start spreading out further again maybe the other side of the villager of the raid farm as well we mark out how close you can get to that put a perimeter in I wonder if people do that to make sure they don't cross villages over. End up confusing some of your farms. Haven't caught many horses lately either. I've been resisting the temptation. Getting quite full down there. Uh, they've got horses in, they're just not rendering in. So we've got space for three more. Oh, and then the new tree for no, this is what I spent my time doing yesterday, really. Obviously, took time off, but still played the game. Built a new waterway system so that basically, because I want to farm more wood for things, uh, like the tree cities gonna need yeah left the beacon up but um, it looks quite nice I need to farm another beacon I think so this one holds 31 trees so you can literally run round plant trees dum 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 and I was hoping that I was obviously farming some leaves the raid farm as well so it's good for that it's good for farming leaves for the maize and the raid farm then you can chop the trees down and by the time you get back round again after you've chopped them all down especially when you get a few awkward ones that are a bit higher but you chop them out gives you a nice little platform to put your scaffold on 
where you take out the trunk and then move on to the next one. So we've got like a 31 tree planting circle and we haven't put anything in the middle yet. I was thinking I could put some of the two by twos in the middle as well if I want. And while we're doing that, we can plant a couple of spruce trees or jungle trees, let them grow. The great thing about this is it doesn't take too much bone meal because by the time you've got round, others have already popped up. So you're spending more time chopping them down and less time bone mealing them. Made it quite a simple, quick, easy collection system this time. Got some acacia that I haven't collected and some saplings. And the usual doorway system through just in case. Yeah. It's a nice little build that I really like that. Spread it out to a bigger size. But I needed leaves mainly and I was like, I don't want to have to keep going. This was all trees anyway. So why not make it part of the build? Need to find a way, I was thinking of ways to light it up. I could put lanterns in under the water rather than just as got torches on it. Oh, there's a horsey. Hello, horsey. <laughs> so we're going to be able to resist today. You're a funny white, black, and grey. It's different. It's got a bit of everything, is that one? Yeah, so it's nice to do this. Get this set up. Obviously the Ray Farm's just... Uh, I actually uh, used Silent Whispers build for this one. Got to put the villager in and then we can see whether it works. Why is there a cow up on the... No. Like, honestly... I give them a bridge, they just walk in. What do you think this is? <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. I quite like this little system. It worked really well just for like the acacia leaves and the oak leaves and the maize. Just run around, shear them all, chop them down move on to the next one and then go and collect all the saplings and replant them. A bit slow on the... Maybe they're sprouting and I'm just not noticing which ones didn't have any. For now I'm happy with that because we've still got the 2 by 2 farms over there with the spruce trees on. I did notice something with those which I assume is the spacing thing. The front ones are all tall and the ones at the back have all gone in short with the trunks missing. Like they're sunken down because they couldn't go up next to it. Shorter, 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 shorter. That's got to be something to do with the mechanics of the game. Why is the cow harassing the sheep? So... I was planning to spend hours fighting with a villager today. <laughs> he gave me sharpness 5 in 6 minutes. That's not normal. So, what do I do? Do I carry on with villagers or do I go back to the sorting house and put in all the hoppers and chests? So unappealing but necessary. And I've got to finish. I made extra lights because I was short on lights because of the iron situation. But I made the lights that we're missing as well. So we've got to light the place up as well. I think realistically I should be putting all of those in to test that it works properly again. Still as many hoppers. That's what gets me. It's not as half as many hoppers, but they'll all be in, so. Yeah, this lot can go over to the tree farm.
actually got XSI in there. And all this just to sort out all the boxes and get everything into one place, which I still haven't done. Time, time, takes time to get it all done. Right, what was my plan? More villagers, Russ. And breed up some more villagers, move one out. So much rail it's going to take. It's just going to take so much rail and then hassle because they know he's going to get me annoyed. <laughs> No, right, I'm not going to do villager today on stream. Just not, I'm not getting stressed. But you're going to have to wait until I get a chance to do it. I'll do some more interesting, at least less stressful. More fun, Russ. What's next? to do the pathways and the lighting up outside as well. Just to connect things again. The external here needs connecting there. To run the pathway up. Still haven't built this extra third set of stables. Flower farm part two needs to be built. Let's pop that one in so that we can do double flowers and rather than single flowers. It's still set to singles. Hmm. Plenty still to do, really. It's deciding what to do and where to do it. Whether it's just to go off and do something else. That's where I can't seem to focus on one thing at the moment. Scatterbrain. Right, let's get some uh, paving slabs and some torches if we've got some. And just do a bit of paving when I think about it. Torches, torches, no torches. I did it for nothing. For nothing. Torches. What's that? Maybe I put a load over here after doing the mounds. Oh yeah, that was for green wall for the floor. I didn't put any in here. Oh no, I made the path over this side, didn't I? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. This path up with that path, so it's connecting to. Oh, 
use it connecting to the corner instead of going down the side. Going down there would have been better, Ross. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you put it down there? Instead of down there. That just connects that to that. Fill that one back in again. I don't know why that's there, that doesn't make sense. Now you can turn the corner and go this way, maybe, but look along the side, even though there's water in there at the end, the dead end, but surely it should go that way from there to there. And maybe because I've done that part out and I didn't know where it stopped. That's a bit weird. Okay, we can just leave that one up there. Take those out. Put you back in. We'll get filled in. Five long, isn't it? this out and that's fine to connect that side to that side and take that down to the dead end at the sort of water's edge and stop right there and give it a couple of blocks of space that'll force you to get to the middle so I'm not going to be able to resist and a sheep, it's fine. And I'll take this one all the way down alongside. Leave the pumpkin farm in. A little pumpkin patch. Now this makes more sense. Because this one connects with this one. And for some space instead of screen. If I have to vanish and disappear for 10 minutes and go AFK, I'm expecting my shopping today. Right. I may randomly disappear and just uh, leave it unattended, but that's fine. It's just to collect my shopping. Right, we all got to eat. <laughs> Filling that back in, you know, because it's just a little two sets of car. Okay. Dig this out and connect it where it's supposed to go. Sensibly placed for some reason. I don't know why I put the other one in. Maybe it was not correct at all, was it, Ross? The thing is, that one is going to keep running down alongside the build. So what I'm going to do with all the way around. I think you've got to go all the way around on the main story because I've got doors everywhere. Hit those, it's got to go in. Three 
wide at the back and then that being in the water might be an issue. Maybe we make it too wide and we leave the water alone. Goes against my nature of my three wide roads, but what have we got scaffolding up for? Everything's intent on getting in the way today, apparently, then. Back pathway's got to be too wide, and the rest could be three wide. So, and a hole in the dirt. We don't know is the answer. Not entirely sure why it's there, but it is. Can we build anything at level sixty-two, my friends? No. We do not. No scaffolding up. Maybe I'm doing some kind of ruse. I think I've still got to do the side lights as well, I do, don't I? Yeah, lanterns still need to go in the sides. Yeah, there's always more that needs doing. Where's my glass wood? Blocks. Go in it, does it? I don't know what I was putting in there. Wondering why I've got no dirt box, but that's because we started chucking it in the storage system. I can't do that now because the storage system needs to be relocated over there. All of these chests need setting up again. All of this lot needs sorting out as well. <laughs> Funny, I create all the work, but I don't want to do all the work. It's like, no, I don't fancy it. Let's uh, not do that. Cows and sheep. Yeah. You're going to get in my way, aren't you? Climb into my pathway. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stay there. Stay there. Right, let's get some torches down. Get this little section that turns the corner done. big builds but in the end just the little details as well connecting the roads making it all fit together I think it's just as important as designing like a new raid farm or a new farm or a new build it's still just as important to put in the little touches
Look at me. I just came out of the stairs again. Never have for me. Is that what you've been working on? Oh, you've actually been creating it as well. I'm creative, nice. Must be a big one. Mm. I'm already intrigued as ever. And time consuming, yeah, but you know, if it's time consuming, it just means it's good. <laughs> the longer you've spent on it, the better it'll be. It's taken time, it's taken effort, it should be worthwhile. Ooh, <laughs> I nearly started to sprint there. That would have been an interesting fall. I heard Russell scream again. Just disappear into the abyss. What's going on in the cave system? No worries, yeah. Uh, I'd say I always check Discord at the end of the stream and have a look. And if there's something up, I'll, I'll have a look and tell you what I think. What kind of brilliant ideas we've got. There's just a hole in the ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I say, the more time you're going to take on it, obviously the better it will be. No rush, is there? The nether's not going anywhere, as far as I'm aware. supposed to be digging out to this far. Oh. So the water's a bit close. Yeah, at that point it's 
to two one. We do a two wide bar thing, I think it's probably sensible. Now we fill in a bit of water. Does it make any difference if I put sand in there and make it three wide? Sandstone at least. Sand in there. And make it three wide. Sticks of our firmness three wide are probably as well as major areas. This is probably the most major area after a raid. The aquarium, but and some, you know, extra oomph to finish things off at them. Get them to keep changing and chopping and changing, and then that focused completion. Maybe, maybe I'm just not a completionist. I run out of space. There's a lot of slabs to get done. Uh, I'm left loads and stuff. Need sorting out at some stage as well. I'm being naughty, I shouldn't really just chuck them in a box, but all of this needs sorting out anyway. So don't tell anyone. Shh, tell me. Tell me. Go back and grab the sand, because sooner or later it's all going to be glass. Use far too much glass and everything. Hello, rabbits. I'm back again. Hello, friend. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Back on today. Already got the sharpness five. Uh, complete six minutes to get sharpness five. I was actually expecting to spend four hours fighting with villagers to try and get sharpness five. I didn't expect him to give it to me in six minutes, so <laughs> we're digging the pathways out. I think I've got little jobs to complete at the moment. We've still got to put all the boxes and hoppers back in for the sorter. And they've not rendered in the chests, that looks weird. But yeah, they all need finishing, and then that needs filling up with the items and labelling. So I'll probably do that after I've done the pathways. Maybe we just complete the storage centre. I set up 
you know, or I've got the raid farm prepped. I just need to put a villager in, but I don't want to fight with him today. I don't need the stress of villagers, to be honest. Maybe we'll do him later. I'll do some planning. Plan to see where I can put another villager breeder. Another hole in the ground. Closer to this end instead of 900 blocks away. Yeah. Built a few little things like the maze is done. Too much sand. Have we got any other rubbish blocks? Um, yeah, completed the maze. Built another little tree farming system that's more for uh, single trunk trees as well. Which is fun. Reach for the water. So that's complete yesterday. Um, I don't know. Not really a thought about it much today which is weird I don't have big plans no big plans we're just going to do little bits and pieces and finish stuff off get things complete instead of start the next big project so that's the good housekeeping today's good housekeeping day Finish up all the little projects we haven't finished up. Why do you keep digging? storage now I've still got boxes and boxes of stuff stuck outside look <laughs> this one built like 3,000 chests yeah yeah we kind of knew that that's why we took it all apart <laughs> Right. I didn't get the lag while I wasn't streaming, but the minute I streamed it, it was kind of like, wow, this is massively laggy. Yeah, that's why we pulled it all down. That's why they're all singles, single to single to single. The only double is the doubles at the bottom for storage. Right. We, can, we can hope we've corrected it. It might still lag a little bit, but I'm willing to take a tiny bit of lag to keep it at 70 long. Rather than redesign the whole thing. Plus I'll only be using probably like 20. Realistically. 20. The first 20 sorters. The other 50 are just for looks. Mm, I mean. Plus being this big and that long. Probably didn't help rendering it all in as well. But. Yeah, so we, we live and we learn. We'll know in future not to go too big on things with hoppers. You know, stuff that has moving parts that causes that kind of problem. We can build big structures, but big internal workings need to be considered. I need, I need to know what I'm doing more with that sort of thing. But that's the first one we've built. I think I learned quite a lot of lessons with that as well. I think it was very uh, educational. Now we've got to get rid of this lot and put it all back into storage. Mm. Maybe put the window in and stop using it as a doorway. <laughs> I've got all the doors in the world in it. And I still find it funny that I'm running in and out the window because I don't want to put it in yet because I haven't finished. <laughs> mm. 
and I've still got to store up some sand at this end to keep the XP machine running. Yeah, that's good. Should hopefully, if I keep this running more often, I should build up another supply of glass like I did for the aquarium. Not really, not even a chest's worth. I don't know how much we've got left in. I think the other uh, storage centre was empty as well. So I need to keep that running. I was thinking about taking down another part of the desert somewhere. Block topple scores as much lag as a normal block. Hmm. It's typical that Java gets everything to help them out, and we don't. Yeah, and I had like 3,000 chests in here, so it was bound to be laggy. But what I'm going to do, maybe, is what I did before. Set it up so that the first four sets of five work. Leave the rest in, but section it off, and then just use the first four to sort out what I mine. So it will literally just be what it is over here. Yeah. So oh, I took out the stone, cobblestone, smooth stone. And you've got sandstone, sand, and then your normals and your silk touch dirt. So like those, I might just put back in. It's like the first four rows, 20. Block it off at the top and use that just basically so that when I mine, I can dump it all in there and it will sort it. And then the rest won't get used, but might just get put in like slowly. Yeah, I think for my first attempt at a big storage system, I learned a lot, and I'll obviously hopefully get better at doing it, and won't make the same mistakes again. But that's the way it goes. Oh, I've got to keep an ear out for the door. And maybe stacking up even more chests out here is not a good idea as well. Maybe spreading storage out is the right way to do it. And just have certain sections for certain things. So instead of maybe trying to condense everything into one place, maybe what I should do is specify each place for each block. Because the storage underneath is only going to get bigger. Maybe if I start, maybe that's why he's laid it out the way he has. This one is uh, set up ready for the second set to go in. Press down as it says in. Um, maybe that's why they did it like this then, because it spreads it out nicely. You don't get too much in in one kind of field of view. So you get that side and you get that side but you have to walk through to get to the rest
Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't mind sorting stuff out, but it just wanted to save me a little bit of time, you know, that I can dump stuff and, and keep doing what I'm doing rather than spending time going through each box, sorting out each box, stacking up each box. It's like, it'd be nice just to drop it all in and walk away. But at the end of the day, I don't mind doing the work. end up with what we've got at the moment which is boxes and boxes and boxes of chests stashed up everywhere I think the aquarium still has boxes on the outside of it somewhere but I haven't moved into any of the storage facilities because it takes so much time to unload them all I end up doing what I'm doing right about now which is going like that and then just going right we'll bung that lot in there and then you never come back to that chest sorters really yeah I did the maze yesterday so I put in the extra levels to the maze and tried to finish the maze off plus lit it as well so it's got under soil lighting yeah, I'm sure I've still got boxes stacked up around the outside somewhere on the aquarium as well. It's all beginning to fit in, I think, more. Set up the raid farm. Oh, and then I built the new tree system new, new water collection system for cutting down regular trees as well now I've only got like 40 shulkers really farmed the end at all at the moment and I think probably like, I've only got I haven't really got an ender chest on me but I don't really keep a full ender chest's worth and all the others are sitting down in storage I think in underground storage maybe yeah we'll have to work a, work a way to find better ways to keep all our stores so if I want to start building bigger things, I need larger amounts of materials that I don't want to have to necessarily go and farm. I'd like to have some stored kind of thing rather than going, right, I'm going to go and build X, Y, Z over there. Okay, I've got to go and spend two, three weeks farming materials over here to then go back to that and make it because by then I've probably will have forgotten or lost like the the juice to to get that built. I want to be able to go right, I want to build this. I've got half the materials already stored. I'll start, I'll make it, you know, the shell of it, and then we'll go and get the rest of the materials and then I can come back to it and see what I've built. I, I much prefer that way of doing things, like having something to get going. It was, I think same, the ship's probably the best example. I had some wood. I built the base of the ship and the shell to show what I want. And that way I'll go back to that and I'll make it. But if I had nothing and I had to go and farm all the wood and spend two days just cutting down spruce trees, I probably would have lost my impetus, my energy for making the ship. So I, I do think it helps having a, like a, an amount of materials ready to go for when I want to make something. I mean, it's different for like the castle build where I'm gradually storing up materials bit by bit. Every time I gold farm, I get more blackstone, black rock, blackstone, blackstone, isn't it? 
uh, and I'm storing that and we actually I don't think I've taken any over to the island for a while I'm fairly sure that like the crying obsidian is building up as well which I need and once I, I think I said once I get to like a full chest of crying obsidian and maybe 30 boxes of black stone. So I started bunging it over here in the corner, didn't I? We got one, and that was a part one, and that was a part one, but nearly full. So I got three over there. And again, it's just. So that one hadn't been started. Five. And then the Chrome Obsidian. Yeah, we're definitely getting there on things like that. And I have to move Obsidian over. Um, shit. Certain things take longer to farm and to collect and to gather. And we've not been doing the nether enough. And you're still producing, really. Oh, that's the last. Got one more in it. It's a postman next door. <laughs> Thought that was someone knocking on me door. My food delivery was here, but it's not. It's just our postman. Yeah, definitely different ways to do the projects I guess one's a slow burn where I have to gather everything and the other ones I want quantities of bulk materials stored ready to go I think that's the thing with you don't know what you're going to build therefore how can you know what you're going to store but things like stone and cobblestone and diorite and andesite and gravel and sand and all the rest of those should be bulk stored anyway and then all the woods again I built the tree farm because I noticed that I was doing more and more with oak obviously the base is mostly oak and farming oak was beginning to be a pain so I'm going to do that more often like the dailies <laughs> it feels like World of Warcraft again dailies run round farm up now I can't just AFK at a tree farm. So we've got a tree farm to run round and collect. So it was acacia for the leaves yesterday, but all of these will get cut down. And I'm not rambling. And replaced with oaks. And then we'll go round and cut oaks down every day and build up a store of oak. It's only ones where you get acacias like this where they get a bit tricky. And I don't need the leaves. See, I ran through, I sheared all these for leaves the other day. I like this system. I think this system works really well. Got a water collection system. You can plant 31 trees at a time. And then it's only when you get ones like this, where it's just out of reach, that you have to have scaffolding on. But also we have a spot to plant a scaffold in. You take the trunk out. That's where it goes. I like it. Bring the trunk. I'm farming wood that I don't actually need at this precise moment in time, but it will store it. We'll have acacia wood for like when we go back to the 
orange section of the aquarium and I need all that acacia to do the tunnel system with which oh no that tree just popped while I was here lovely nice timing well played sir well, you're kind of in the way but I do like this system. It's a great little system. Good job, Russ. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, there's a horsey. Two horsies. We catch our daily horsey. Oh, they're chestnuts. Chestnut horse? Dappled? No, dappled is the other speckled one, isn't it? Spotted. Spotted and a patched horsey. I think you've got both of you. Mm. You're not, not varying enough to the other horses. Collecting the wood that I don't really need, but I don't know why. Oh, and then you get obviously the big oak tree that pops up there. Then ruins the whole system because it makes no sense. <laughs> Still, it's extra wood. Yeah, and I think the good thing with this is, which I wasn't doing before, but then I remembered with the spruce, is plant it when you walk away. Like I used to cut down like four lots of trees. So I used to plant eight trees, cut them all down, plant eight trees, cut them all down, plant eight, like four times with the spruce and then walk away. And I'd never think to myself, plant one more lot before you leave so that they grow. Like, why, where was my sense? Where's your common sense? Like, while you're walking away, they could be sprouting more trees so that when you come back, they're ready to go. I never used to do it. Uh, I'll go back away. I just don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Like, a little bit of common sense. There's a branch hiding in there, isn't there? I'll see you. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember. Plant them. all the time that way by the time you come back and need more there's one set ready to go already it's like a little bit of common sense little bit of forethought with these i used to plant one bone meal it cut it down like cut up it then cut down it then do the next one and it's like it's not that big a deal that I've got loads of bone meal anyway, but my little tip for the day was plant all eight first. Run along, plant like those four and those four saplings, then move on to the next one before you bone meal it. Plant, 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 plant. Then go back to the first one. It takes a few extra seconds to run back, but by the time you run back, they've normally sprouted. And I've got a tree for free. It's cost me zero bone meal. And then by the time I've gone up it, cut it all out and cut down, the next one sprouted. Cut up it, cut down, replant them when you finish, move on to the next one, and they've sprouted. Like I did two runs through the whole set of eight trees without using a single piece of bone meal. From literally just planting them all first and then going back to the start and cutting them down saved me probably two stacks of bone mill. It's really weird. I've never thought to do it before. Just gonna grab all these saplings that are hanging on the pathway like they do. Look at this lot, acacia, all of them sound. Have any of you fall in the water at all? Through that one. Oops, I ran out of 
you know, little things like that that I just never thought about before. And when it's only two stacks of bone meal, it's like two stacks that I can add to, you know, creating the flowers for the dyes, or two stacks less I have to stand AFK at the bone mill farm every single time I do trees which is like at least once or twice a day the amount of torches that I go through for the pathways and stuff so we've done all these and probably replant not everything but half as much so let's do the acacias this side down these will regrow and again just doing things like this replanting as you go which is what I should have been doing actually when I'm chopping those down and I'm getting saplings just replant them all again by the time you go round the circle and come back to where you started they've all grown again you're saving yourself bone meal and time. There you go, nearly a full circle replanted, and that's without having to go down into the store and see what I missed and what's dropped in. Great, and crikey, I missed loads of wood. And we want more oak at the moment, but 39 acacia saplings. So we've got to go down to the orange section of the aquarium, but the oak is what we're using base. And they're still adding up as well. But yeah, it's all good. I like that. And my new little tree farming system for regular trees. I've got to take the beacon down at some point <laughs> but obviously it was a big project to dig it was a I probably don't even remember this had a hilltop on it uh where we put the entrance we yeah we because it was uh the entrance to killing the first withers we ran away from far enough from base <laughs> i was gonna say it's like under the water here somewhere we put the entrance to a cave system down to bedrock and spawned the first two withers that we killed in the world right underneath this. Well, we thought this was far enough away. Oh, that's a nice looking horsey. He's unusual, isn't he? Should we add one more horse to this? I know you want to. least tame you then try tamed without falling off legend oh, so you've been tamed are you like are you a pair do you come with him her them apparently sheep and horses yeah, split up. yeah two for two I'm a legend I am the horse whisperer Oh, does that mean I've got to add both of them to the stable now? Can we just leave them? Yeah, for now we'll leave them. We've only got three spaces. Let them roam free for a bit. Enjoy their freedom. Uh, oh, and look, trees are repopping already. I like it, I like it. What was I doing? Oh yeah, digging out pathways for us. <laughs> totally distracted. Blocks. Blocks. Twenty one scaffold. Horses are getting quite bold, to be honest. I've got a, a, 
an obsession for catching horses, I think. Did a dark oak, didn't I, for her? Sorting system. That's the words I was looking for. I knew what I meant. Bring these pathways. get distracted too easily to do something else. Again, I think I'm actually getting worse. Llamas, baby llama. Look at that giddy little llama. Away from me, didn't you? Um, you ever think that's going to be possible with me here? Oh, look, 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 sneaky, sneaky Andy. Hiding behind me, I can't see you. I think I'm doing all right from and again as we cut down the amount of hoppers it's a bit more sensible uh, oh I've got to do more torches haven't I I've got to fix oh yeah I managed to remember to pick up a fortune three pickaxe oh uh, we've got a baby that's a different one I don't think I've seen a brown and a black horsey before but he's got bubby bubby horsey no foal your bubby otherwise we'd have caught you that looks different i don't think i've seen that one or i don't think we've got that one in the stable maybe i have maybe i'm just uh projecting Do you mind? That's what you get. Yeah, Jenny out. Big slap me in the face. It's not a sentence I thought I'd be using that often. What? Ooh, that was you were so lucky. Yeah, you better run away. That was a swish of us. You seriously coming back for more? Like you've been given the second lie. I would take it and run, mate. Come this way, you get the sort. I warned you. I warned you. You weren't listening, mate. Overconfident pig.
this one that we just get some of the wire and then do an off switch. Mm, what? Not blue. Okay. We need more torches. More torches. Further beyond. Yeah, okay. They didn't actually make it to the end with two stacks of torches. Interesting, interesting. Then again, it is a hundred long, isn't it? Ninety-eight. You measure it ninety-eight, and you tell me. Yeah, they may actually make it. Mm, maybe they just put an enough. Let's go. Good to go. Slab to the face. Slab to the face. Slab to the face. Let's go on arms down there. Okay. Made it light there, Ross. Which was the torch system. Hey, Ryan, how, how, how have you done this stat? I was getting lax in my old age. Now I don't have a brick to go in with. Lovely. Okay. Oh, look, two gaps. the other one go? Okay, I'm definitely losing my mind. Where did the other sand go? Oh, it wants to be awkward to go. Do you want just dug a hole so you could get out? Look, your one chance at redemption. There you go. What are you doing in here as well? You get out as well. Your name's not on the list. Get out. Animals, eh? What can you do with them? We lost the pig, but we saved two sheep. Pig was asking for his pig. So let's get rid of this pig. I thought he was bigger. Mm, he's got too big for his boots. So we'll connect those up once we move all the chests out. As well. It's not really enough to do all the way around, is it? You know, enough to do side and back. Okay. Only four bits of scaffold. Don't give me this. Don't give me that. Need a 
is rapidly scattering and over the habitat. scaffolding and cut down the bamboo. Bamboo's been up for like over a month and not been touched I think. Maybe it's time we uh, refilled the bamboo chest as well. Used up some of the string. So I can see how much is left in there. If there's any left in there actually. To the list, Russ. Yeah, it's a good job I don't keep this list, otherwise it'd be a mile long. Things that must be done. Do the torches down here, which again I've not got enough for. Make more torches, Russ. Forehead. Actually, checked my shopping list today to see what they're missing, but I guarantee the Belgian buns aren't on it. I could do a prediction, but that's just giving away points. Well, okay, that used up a. Uh, All of that and all of that. Nice. No. Never. Not one. Well, I think once in like 15 deliveries now. Not that I'm salty about it or anything, but... Yeah. Morrison's... Exactly. Persecution. It's like against the Geneva Convention, I believe. What's all supposed to get is Belgian buns to eat. I'm not getting them. It's not happy. It's a block. Five quarts. See, that's supposed to go into the die section. Yeah. Just getting the delivery on time would be nice. Yeah. Scaffold. Oh, that's what I thought it was scaffold. Oh, that's why that makes no sense. Why is that in there? Any 
lots in there. Stone needs doing as well. Look, my sticks, sticks, torches. What wood am I supposed to use up? This is where it gets. The birch I use for the doors. Acacia is supposed to go downstairs for the orange side of the aquarium. Oaks, the base field. Spruce is normally the wood that we use to burn for chests and sticks. I don't have any spruce. So maybe this is a good time to go and chop a spruce tree down. I didn't go and get the saplings, which I said I should get. Normally I'd get saplings, but I'm only going for one tree here just to get sticks. This is not our chop all the trees down routine. This is just grab one because we need specifically sticks. That's a lot of sticks, Russ. Yes, we have a lot. Oh, now it's my piece stop getting stuck. A lot of paving to do. A lot of paving. Parthing and paving. Witches and slabs. No. Mistakes and cause penalty. No. Spruce wood in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so sticks. I've got one torch. Disconcerting Russ. Disconcerting. That's for the torches. Uh, I've got slabs, didn't I? Do this first. Oh, I've got to remember to fill in the little what? Oh, yeah. Will I remember if I? Yeah, I don't accidentally want to fall down that. That's where I put the beacon in. <laughs> that goes down quite a long way for just being a random little square taken out. I could have accidentally dropped in that just to see what it was and been like, uh, okay, all the way down to ground level, all the way down to level twelve. I think that's in where the new front room to second store no repeated storage underground storage is going to be i'm going to have to start giving these like names and stuff to know what i'm talking about where i'm talking about the double storage underneath is getting extended and that goes
goes straight down to the new antechamber. No, don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. Stay out of the hole. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. Thank you. More horses. I need to catch them. Technically, haven't caught a horse today. I've tamed two horses. Not the same. Where have they gone? They despawned already. That's weird. The other one stayed there. Have they? Why do they despawn so quickly and yet the other one stayed? Hmm. Very weird. Oh, my delivery. Be right back.
Okay, I have returned. <laughs> That's chaotic. I've got my Belgian bones. I just unloaded two weeks shopping in that time. I will say that the man to fix the boilers arrived as well. So hopefully we should have some hot water again. Which would be nice. Oh, wicked. <laughs> Assuming it's locked down and nothing's going on. What are you doing there? did get my Belgian bones, thank you. They actually delivered. I was well surprised. We have Belgian bones. We haven't actually set up a cup of tea and food yet until we've uh, resolved the boiler issue. But for now it's looking promising. Suddenly I was digging through the floor and that's because I'm within range of the beacon, aren't I? Just not paying attention. That's fed it up. Oh, the doggo's got in as well. Really? Your mum wants into the art building system today. Get out! Run sheep. Dig the hole so you can't get to you, but you're literally risking your own life, dude. That's the end of that. Anyway. Can I jump three squares? No rest. Even in game you're overweight, eh? just sent you to the doggo for a better store, but never mind. Dog or wolf? Surely if it hunts sheep, it should be a wolf. Is this a chicken or a duck scenario? My one short. Two short. No, got a full stack. Look at that.
comes in and we might have to pop back out again for a minute and that'll be uh, showing how my ballo actually works so if we know what we're doing once it's fixed at least diagnosed maybe oh come on you dig them a hole out and they walk the other way like fucking game design they do it on purpose just to annoy you there's one sheep that's determined to go the opposite way to the way that he's allowed to go nope still not coming back nope you're coming back that's your way out get out And then he just walks back over the top and nearly falls in again. Okay, well. Suicidal sheep. Get in the hole again. What is with you, sheep? You just tell them in a firm voice, get out. And they never listen, apart from that one time, which is really weird. And look, they get out and the dog eats them. <laughs> There's some sort of irony in that just floating there. And send them out and then the doggo comes along and goes, yeah, I'll have him. And then he's back in again. Lamb chops for dinner. Are you coming back out again? In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Who knows, eh? Sheep doing what sheep do. With being a pain in the butt. Halfways aren't going to like themselves, you know. I actually prefer the base at night. Like when it's lit, and you can see how much of it you've actually done. During the day is fine. You see it all clearly, but it's supposed to be a torch. Isn't it? I actually prefer it at night when you look down and all the pathways are lit. <laughs> like you see, it highlights all the bits you've done, kind of thing. So I've got to connect that one to that one. Uh, don't, don't don't be cross those in there as well. Um, right, so that was the path. Did I do the all the way around? Apart from connecting the corner that I'm working in, I did didn't I? And then I've just got to decide whether I put the three in to connect the doors. I leave them all as grass. See those horses are back again. But three horses. Two point five K. Where are you going, horsey? That's a glass window, mate. You can't go in there. You'll do yourself damage. Hello. All I've got to do is sort out that block, which is where the beacon comes from, and this corner, which 
means getting rid of all this lot inside and sorting out the internal and then I can work out how many lanterns I need to finish off the outsides and the roof whether I'm going to light all of those up it is. I think I need to light it all internally. Maybe not just do all the roof lights. And as the sun goes down you get the view. Finishes it off nicely at the river to make that that part of the base section and then change maybe either the colour scheme or the build style. So maybe from the sand side of things we stop using oak. The 80, yeah, it's nice to be able to have it render everything in and see, see the distance, see what you've got in your if you and like the ice and stuff in the very very distance but mm. I wonder if 96 makes much of a difference I probably wouldn't have thought so but Island renders in. And the land mass pops up. Yeah, you see more of the ice. You can see all of the Japanese village from here, including the bridge to the Shinto shrine. does doesn't it? it renders in quite a lot more land mass you can see the jungle the other side of the raid yeah I think they like with land mass you look at land mass and it doesn't really look that great I think in the end would probably look better because then you'd be able to see all the end cities I can see like five or six all from one viewpoint uh, I've set it up I still need the villager to go in I followed silent whispers video um, but yeah I still need to build across to the gold farm a pathway to bring a villager up so I've got to build uh, up there and across there. Just get the villager in. It's not not running yet. I wasn't overly keen on his video. Lighting and braking system looks like. Um, yes R2 I can go and have a look and no problem not necessarily the way he talks but like I found four errors in the video uh, and it's things that really annoy me and also he builds in creative 
and he doesn't consider the survival aspect of it. Like you put an observer in facing upwards by just flying out to the side, dropping down and popping it in. And it's like, you just put this one here and then carried on. And I was just like, I'm 90 blocks up in the air. There's nothing below me. I can't get down to place that in. I had to go right the way back down to ground floor, put scaffolding all the way up to pop the observer in from below because I had no way to, to set it up because he got to that stage where he hadn't considered it. But also his materials list was wrong. He left out rail. He's like, put the mine carts in, pop rail here, here and here. Mm. Uh, and I was like, I've got no rail. None of his, I've copied his materials list and he doesn't say bring six rail or three rail that you can reuse sort of thing so I was like so I had to go back and get rail uh, then he said from the base of the trident up 34 blocks and then went up 38 and placed his next level and it's like you just said 34 blocks up from the bottom of the trident I've looked at it double checked it and you've gone up 38. Now he even states the number that he goes from and to. Calls it 34 blocks and it's 38. And I was like, so. Yeah, just too many errors and too many mistakes. And too many, like just doing it. Yeah, like, like he's not actually playing it. Or he's just written it all down and not checked it. Uh, and I think I did 38. Because he went from like 80 to 118. So if it's wrong and it doesn't work, I should be most upset once I get a villager in. But then at least I'll have learned. I won't use his videos again. I'll go back to JC Plays. Yeah, I think it was 38. I figure better to go too tall than not tall enough. Hmm. Yeah. Like I say, I still got to deal with the fact that my villager is 900 blocks away from the gold farm. So it's whatever that and that is. So it's probably like 1200. blocks to get a villager in as well anyway and then it's villagers that you're dealing with trying to get them onto a bed so that will be fun as well a bit lower down yeah but again just th th there's a few other things as well like he covers stuff up oh he pre-built the top of the platform so you go up the scaffolding, he goes, oh, build this bit of the scaffolding, build this bit. It gets to the top and half of it's already built. Uh, he'd already put the, the floor down and three hoppers, the observer and the stairs in. And I'm like, why is that there already? Like, this is a tutorial video. You're supposed to be showing me how it's made. And he's literally come up the scaffolding and it's all sitting there already done. It's like how's that a guide <laughs> you know i could do a guide i could go look this is a raid tower and that's how you build it like just make it that way there you go done yeah i was really disappointed <laughs> too many too many mistakes and too many errors and too many things i didn't like let alone the fact he talks fast right do a pathway and then to back out. It might light that up properly and then we're done for this side, I think. Yeah, I've just got to move on to the desert side of things. I was just thinking that I'm going to change my build style or at least the, the scheme. So maybe the base changes into a desert thing. And you go this way. You've got to connect that underneath, I think, under the river to the mine. To the storage. 
and I'll be happy. Yeah, I didn't replant the tree even. Idiots. Hmm. Can't focus at the moment. Trade is still there. Kill the path doesn't exist. Lava to drag out anymore, would that I'll sort out what I'm doing with that? Maybe need to already sorted, didn't it? Mm. Shuffle all of this lot over there. Auto storage, why are you so awkward? I wonder what the best storage system is then. Like for bedrock. Least laggy, most effective, most efficient, but also... at least 10 chests worth. Like if I dropped it down in water, and then stored it in chests, would that help? Like if you took out half the hoppers, So like by cutting them in half and getting rid of that lot, and then only having, I mean I can take out the bottom section, that was just to store them, put glass underneath or something so it's a floor because it's just at that awkward level, and then you're only going to end up getting two chests worth, it's barely worth using it for that. Like with the amount you want to store in it, like I might as well have just made a warehouse without hoppers and just put chests in it. The bulk storage is a fully hopper locked shulker loader with a sorter. Yeah, which unfortunately is shulker based and like shulker's not on the radar just yet. Maybe we get to that, but... Hmm... One of those things, isn't it? It looks good. It probably works okay, but it just isn't what it needs to be. And I could do, yeah. I mean, honestly, I could have it where the lip is to the 
thing and have the sorter on top and then just have underneath as like a normal storage facility. And I can't even get to it from there though, can I? Because it doesn't need to be that tall anymore. It only needed to be that tall because that's what I wanted it to be to start with to be impressive. But we could actually drop it just to here. would be like one, two, three chests worth. And then I could put a floor, like a shelf or a balcony here, going to like this distance all the way across. And then the sorter could just go to there. And then underneath could be, you know, normal chest storage, let's say. An even number. What do you mean by an even number? Going down, because it's 70 storage anyway. That would crop it, wouldn't it? And that way you chuck it all in, it sorts it all out and probably make these double chests for that then because there'd only be three chests for each one. And then as they fill up, I'd have to empty them and store them in chests below or something. Hmm. Oh, that was the other thing I was, I'm unsure of because I've never done it. If you put two of the same item then, so if you put, uh, let's say, cobblestone in the first one and then set the second one up as cobblestone, when the first one's full, does it then go into the second one or would it fill up the hopper with items and then move on, which then breaks the system? Uh, no, I suppose that's something I'll have to try and work out as well. Right, you, you, I think you just said it there. Two columns for the bulk items, but how does that work on... Like if cobblestone fills up the first one and all three chests are full, does it then fill up the hopper at the top and then it moves on to the next one, which is the same item, but it will start filling that up as well. But then when you empty them, you have to fix the hopper. Or does it know to move on to the next one once it's full? Wouldn't have thought it would work that out. And what do I build a floor out of? Glass? Yeah, that's what I thought. is worrying because it's only three double chests but then it's just a maintenance issue in it you've got to maintain it every so often take out a chest's worth and put it underneath but then at least you could chuck in boxes and boxes of materials for a certain amount of time and then come back in and sort them mm, it kind of negates the whole point of having it set up for big item sorting to then end up sorting it in small amounts again but maybe it works and maybe we just sped up our process slightly you can actually do it so a system that works out yeah. Yes. 
think he's put his tools away. I might have to go AFK again just for a minute and talk to my uh, boiler repair man. Find out what's going on with our heating system. Uh, I'll be right back.
Here we go again. Back again. This boiler man has finished. We have a working heating system. We actually have a hot shower again. Would be nice. Uh, just don't like when the chest is full, we move to the other column. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. You can put a comparator on land from the top chest to warm the nearly filled system. Thank you very much. Right, so what I've got to do is I've got to put a floor in, work out whether that marries up with that. Right, I'm going to go for an oak wooden floor. I've got oak. I'm going to get some slabs. I have oak here somewhere. I think I've got oak slabs somewhere as well. Oh, spruce. There's the extra spruce that I didn't realise I had. Acacia. Oak and jungle. Oh yeah, they're for labouring. Right. Do we have oak slabs somewhere? In the chest outside. We're going to put a floor in. We're going to cut those chests off so that we don't have to do as many. I'm going to get it working. Oak slabs, look at that, see? Now they come in useful at some point. Blocks. Think I've all got junk blocks. Yeah, I'll do that just for now. Let's focus on getting this floor in. I'm going to get this working before the end of the day. Maybe not before the end of the stream, but before the end of the day, I want this a working sorting system that's, you know, up and running at least. We've had enough of things not doing what they're supposed to do properly. We have that with our boiler. We don't need that with our sorting system as well. Let's, uh, let's get stuff done, shall we, Russ? So we're going to fill in a floor. It's typical, isn't it? It's never where the chest sits. It's always where the hopper sits. <laughs> like, how do I manage to get that every time? I go up to a random level and manage to get the hopper level, not the chest level. Just really dislikes me, doesn't it? I mean, I suppose I could put a hopper going out and down to another one. Maybe it's sitting front. But actually, no, I think what I'm going to do is... Make these double chests and make that glass underneath. Yeah, it just never works out the way I want it to. <laughs> it's just like, why can't you just be... Yeah. Uh, and then... Do we leave the bubble column blocked in? Or... I don't know. Oh, you just put that underneath, didn't you? Yep, yeah, lightning about sums it up, mate. Design decisions. Now this bugs me. Not going on to the chest, but you still can't drop down onto the floor because you didn't go out that way, Russ. Okay, so we need to put the floor in now, that side and now that side. I know at some point. I figure I'm just going to put glass blocks underneath like I did there. I'll just put a glass block where the hopper is now underneath the chest so it looks like it's sitting on the glass block. Actually out at least chest in front two in front 
maybe three in front and then a ridge. Another block on top to run a little glass down there is the balcony. Yeah. It's always the way in it. Never quite and no, it's not true. Sometimes it works out, just not often. Like if it really worked out, I'd have a message from the National Lottery to tell me that I don't have to go back to work ever again, but that's not happened, so uh, what day is it? Wednesday. Is it lottery again today? Gotta be in it to win it. And then maybe we just do stacks of four chests at the bottom or something. So that I can reach up and door stuff in but then nothing with hoppers in. I want to knock those chests out so that I get to these chests first. I'm not too sure I should be able to do that. Drop in there without falling off. Yeah, just about. Oh, it keeps changing, <laughs> ever evolving system. Have I got hoppers under these ads? No. Leave them in just now. Let's take it out now. Deal with it when I deal with it. I'm worried about losing some as well. Right, so we'll take these out. any of these, we've all got some stored in them, pop it around the chest, steam hopper, this chest, hopper and chest, chest, hopper and chest, <laughs> shouldn't be anything in these ones, no hoppers, right, okay, so if I stack these like four high, I should still be okay, Once that's got a floor under it and separated, hopefully it won't affect it. It's going to change the appearance drastically, but maybe not in a bad way. Right, so we come out. So we need a mezzanine floor level as well, don't we? We can't keep dropping off there. Um, oh, maybe I can do a staircase up as well then. Or maybe we do some kind of a nice set of stairs coming up through the middle and spreading out. I like staircases. That lightning just hit down there. Somebody clip that. Just got a first lightning strike on screen. Don't click this bit or I just put the block underneath again. Right, so if I put a glass block or a double glass block under there, so it looks like it's sitting on top of it.
hate working from left to right instead of right to left. I don't know why. It's just more comfortable. up on all the chests extend it still 70 again there's no way I need 70 items sorted but no yeah oh, just done it again why why are you being awkward today what was that anger I wasn't really facing this can you get there <laughs> cool What was the one? I did the raid thing and I read the comments where somebody said, put the string on it, otherwise you get hit by lightning. It happened to me. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I'll go and get some string. <laughs> I don't want it to randomly kill me. But like, what are the odds that lightning's going to hit you in Minecraft? It's got to be fairly rare, isn't it? We'll have a look at that later. It's weird that it's just looking at and you see the bang. It's way too loud as a sound effect as well. Yeah. And they say not as rare as you think though. Like golfers do get hit quite a lot. Like you're standing out in the open during all weather holding a metal stick. Okay, these days carbon fibre, but still. <laughs> like you're you're literally stood out there going hit me hit me hit me <laughs> uh, lightning frequently does i guess i don't know So we can put a balcony, we can put a glass rail across here so that we don't accidentally fall off the side like I normally do. We can build all the way across and then we can bung all the chests and hoppers in. That cuts it right down. And then we can move storage in underneath and start filling up chests. Hi Vicky. Back in the main main storage section that isn't storage yet because it's still getting redesigned because it's too much, too many FPS. But it's not in my clips list, really. I had this the other day with uh, actually on if she wants me to promote and say but uh, on another stream and I was just like couldn't link a clip oh, I've got it on mine lightning strike live on stream Boom. Right, how do I cut that? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's on mine. I've uh, I've got it up. I've just watched it. I've copied it. Yep, definitely there. 
this is the thing that gets me with Twitch. Like, with clips, who can post? Can anybody post a clip in a channel? Like, can both of you clip and post in the channel? Or if you have links disabled, does it disable clips? Because I always thought a clip doesn't count as a link. Because you're clipping the stream. Maybe it does, I don't know. Ah, oh, so it does think you're posting a, a, a link. It blocks you from posting it. Which then means you've got to have links turned off for people to post clips. I don't get it. have hyperlinks off and no you can do it so your channel only recognizes the clip links all oh, right okay so you can have it set to clip links i think i've got hyperlinks turned off so i need to set it so that it can recognize clip links so that people can li link the clips but still can't link whatever they want Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that. Yeah, because I'm like it's in some channels I can link and in other channels I can't link. And I guess it's a preference setting that people set up. It's not uniform across Twitch. It's dependent on what somebody's done in the channel then, which is good to know. Right, I think clips you'd want to allow because people are clipping your channel. Like, I guess they can link clips to other channels as well, but like, you'd always want clips in there because it's of my channel. You know, yeah, it might be me falling to my death or doing something silly, but at the end of the day, it's still something you've done that's fine to share in the channel. Doesn't always have to be a highlight, it can be a low light. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I'll have a look at that. Everybody wants to be on the, the highlights reel. Nobody wants to be on LSF. Although that's not true because most people get famous from L LSF anyway. Yeah, that's it. Haters make you famous. Well, it means I've got to light up more of up here as well, actually. Oh, that's alright, look, I can put lanterns off those bricks. Perfect. I've even got blocks to hang lanterns off of. Nice job, Russ. And I can correct that mistake and put blocks in there that are missing as well. Once I find them. Have I got any smooth blocks left? dark up here isn't it and, uh, considering there's lightning all over the place it still seems um, maybe it's because I lit the floor up so well strength of a thousand candles could be at least a thousand under that floor oh yeah and I dug out the hole for the next water elevator as well right next to the stairs Four candles. We don't sell four candles. Why do you just want the handles to the forks? What about the actual fork heads? The prongs, as it were. Well, there's classic scenes like that that probably kids these days will never get in there. Well, the dead parrot. Probably the funniest clip I ever remember watching. Yeah, I wouldn't say humour's not good anymore. It's just very rare to find that kind of thing. 
I, I fa I'm fairly sure I remember watching the Dead Parrot sketch, like, not live, but, you know, the first time it was shown. And just at the time, I just cried laughing. I was laughing so hard that, like, my stomach and my sides hurt. Like, do you get that these days? Or the school of silly walks? I suppose as a kid, that, that tickled us as well. Mm. What was the one? I haven't seen it yet, but like Coming to America 2's out now, isn't it? It's like apparently it's supposed to be quite good. When's the last time Eddie Murphy did anything? It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Oh, welcome to the mezzanine storage system. could just convert all of it to be honest because it's all going to be out at some point the planks I should say but I've not got a no, no crafting table up here have we I found that funny as a kid as well coming to America was very funny it's not like there's great comedy in that. Yeah, the good old days. John Candy was one of my favourites. I wonder if I put a water elevator up at the other end it would look. Yeah, I've got to do the sorting system for stuff that doesn't. It's going to fit that. What are we trying to fit in? I've got to think of a staircase or another short. Oh, I could do a... You know, that, yeah, absolutely, Rush, you could. Uh, I could do another bubble column just coming up here. So that one goes up to the machine load, and this one could come up here. I could do it in line with this one. Or maybe do it facing this way. Dun, dun, dun. Like that idea. I like making uh, <laughs> elevators now. Now that I kind of understand how to do it, because I've never done one before, it's like, I like making those, I could make more. 
There and next to there, I'm not entirely sure, but for now, and then one down the other end. Do, do, do. Let's fill in the shelf first of all. Somebody's done a time in motion study of the quickest way to fill in one of these gaps. Is it quicker to run round, place them, and not hold shift, and risk falling off? But the amount of times you fall off and have to run back, or is it worth holding shift, crouching and placing, and then not falling off? To shift or not to shift, that is the question. Ooh, that's very deep. It's not a car question, by the way. No, don't double press. Bar and you didn't open the chocolate bar and I got Belgian buns later. Woohoo! Morrison's pain free for once. We'll forgive them the other 13 times they failed. After it scares me, well, I ain't trust it. Now, chocolate eating stream. I don't know what genre that comes under. Mm. Corrupted three hours ago. Just left that stuttering for a moment. Oh yeah, I set the render distance up, didn't I? Maybe that's why. Run like 96 chunks or something rather than 80. Let's push the distance as far as we can. Definitely stuttering a little bit. Let's 
remember when I screenshot in the future then to set the render distance up as high as possible and get all of the background in I can. Well, it still doesn't render in the chest just down there, which is weird. Set it to 96 chunks, it'll render in ice blocks that far away, but it won't render in the chest that's just down there. Interesting. Interesting way to do it. Way we feel at four o'clock. Come on, help it's like we need the boiler fixed, and also the shopping delivery times is very difficult to get a availability slot, let alone actually a time you want. But usually, my normal orders arrive at ten or half ten at night the usual delivery time slots, it's the only one that's left. I think that's the first time in well, all of lockdown, so what are we on, four months? That it's been available during the day. The earliest I've got it is probably like half four, five o'clock. So that's only on the rare occasion. No! Wonder. Let's give it a go. Oh, that totally... placed all those blocks but I didn't even see them go in before they are finished for it to show them to me because now I'm watching them all go in that was weird okay. every chance I fall forwards into this hole Just get it done, and you're a genius. Or it does that to you and stitches you royally. Thanks very much. And sixty gonna be enough? Probably not. Let's do two batches, why not? No, <laughs> do this to me. Hmm? That's so mean. Yeah, the other ones I did wrong as well, and these ones. Still seems to awkward to pull. And we got you. Okay. Let's 
new blog. It's new blocks just to fill up the one gap that's up there. So if you put lanterns in, put chests and hoppers in, and you can build the bubbles staircase, elevator shaft, lift shaft, bubble elevator. Bubble elevator, that's the one, isn't it? And we're nearly good. What was the first thing? We're gone. Yes. No, don't particularly need. Why have I got any smooth stone? So this is all wood, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's go to here. I need the chests and the hoppers at the moment. So the copper stacks are the copper stacks are those. Keep the glass. Smooth stone. Did I not have any smooth stone back? No. One block. I think I need like three. No, I've got to have more smooth stone, surely. I'm not actually just throwing it. Why does that keep coming up as Microsoft updating something? Please don't tell me my PC is doing an update as well now. Getting a little Microsoft uh, refresh, what do you call it? Oh, I don't think I've got any more smooth stone. Nice. Put that there. Is it being a smooth stone box? Where did that come from? No, I like. I lost you. I've literally run out of smooth stone. Wow, okay. I was not expecting that. Remember to try and use some of that up. I am shocked and dismayed. Dismayed. Did I go and build something else in the meantime? Uh, oh, it might be over by the... Yes, yes. Yep. Glad that clears it all up for us. Good. I don't think I'm out of smooth stone, but I think I built this. And we used smooth stone as the flooring or the internal, maybe? Flooring, yeah. Have I got any smooth stone down here? Apples, an apple a day. No, I've still not got any in here. What? Uh, okay, if anyone sees any of my smooth stone, will they please let me know? Because I don't know where it's gone. Ah, raid farm. Raid farm. Russ, see all that lot? That's smooth stone. <laughs> okay. So the couple of blocks that I missed that I need in there, I probably haven't got because I used it all up on that. Water buckets and. Kelp should be in here somewhere, shouldn't they? 16 water buckets, kelp. Probably need some water in the water buckets. And obviously have a red dye box and quartz. So back into storage so we can use it. Anyway, uh, water buckets. I'm a bit stuck for smooth stone. I don't think I've processed any. Should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah, I'm fine. Need 
it's going to end up being four wide going that way because I want it to go to there anyway. Now, oh well, it is what it is. And I thought I was going to do that. Just why not? Yep. I don't know why, but I didn't line that up correctly. Okay, so it's this one. And then do this. And then that should be the doorway. And then that should be... Column going up. Now I'm going to need signs as well, and then I need eight signs, three signs there and there. Half of the arc green, and then it's so you're at your head. Come up there, then hit your head, and you're good. So the in and the out will be here and here. That's good. And then we're going to do... Well, maybe... Oh, no, because it depends whether it's a solid block, doesn't it? I mean, these are all going to be... Solid blocks. I mean, even if I use an ore block, oh, maybe I do that. What about if I do the block that it's actually going to be underneath it as the block? So we have a stone block, cobblestone block, smooth stone block, sand block, block of sand, block of dirt, block of andesite. Would that not be? A little more design orientated. I suppose it gets difficult when you start using items rather than blocks. Yeah, it would look good for these, but then it'd run out when you start getting to all the other chests that need items. Yeah. Oh well. It was an idea, Russ. And where's my missing blocks? Yeah, I need. Realistically, one, two, three, four, five. The item frame, yeah. I don't know if that ruins the whole aesthetic, though. Like, if you do it as all blocks, I mean, I suppose I could put the picture frame on and then put the thing in there. But then, would it look odd with some of them like that and the rest is just the box? Yeah, like it look, it would look good if it was just the blocks and just that was all I had up here. But once you go into item picture frames, you know, like I've got down there, you reckon? I mean, I could just put glass underneath all of them and just use item picture frames for all of them, but I just thought maybe it would look different. Mm. from underneath straight up did it go straight down it does good
don't know, I think about these things maybe too much, but I like the aesthetic to look right. Like, I think if I put blocks in there, and blocks in there, and then blocks in the next one, and then started doing picture frames in this one, and this one, and those, it's going to look like two different sections that doesn't marry up. That's why I wanted it all to be either all blocks, but they're not blocks, so then it's got to be all picture frames so that they all match. And it runs through the whole thing as like a theme, shall we say. Which means I'm going to need more glass blocks set up underneath. And then picture frames on each one to show what's in it so that it's not on the chest. I hate picture frames on the chest. Like in the base, the ones that I use... Mouse, will you give over? I hate the ones where the frame is on the chest and you have to go round and click it to the side because otherwise you click the frame. That's why I like it, one up or one below. When I did those ones down there, the chest above had the picture frame on it and the chest you click didn't, so it doesn't get in the way. So I like the idea of the picture frame underneath because then it's not in your way of clicking the chest. Yeah, oh, I'm going to run out of glass blocks, aren't I? Yeah, and then I was going to do uh, that called Sonic. That's what I wanted to use. Do that there. It's going to do one there. Do mini across. to there which means it's going to connect that to that which I always hate so they're going to be connected and it's not so bad as cyan glass I didn't put one in there, did I? Mm, either an access point or I fill it in. Build the bubble column coming up. Fill out all of those. It's not bad now because I'm underneath. And it's literally a case of squatting down and popping them in with it. Are they going forwards? Any of the others going forwards? I had those coming down, didn't I? Which will be correct. I think. This is what we get paid the big money for. Right. Enzor? Enzor. Yeah, why not? I'll go for that. How are you doing? Let me arc 
correcting our storage system to try and make it work. Name change. Right, right, we'll be facing this one for chests in a minute. Welcome back. It's a bit easier just to come through the chests first and then attach chests. Uh, at the moment, the storage sorting system like a main storage because we have multiple mini storages but it's getting adjusted because it was hoppers and chests all the way down to the floor level there but it's too much lag for that sort of thing so we're converting it to a smaller sorting system to the mezzanine level and then yeah a, a bulk storage underneath which is on, is on actually on top of my bulk storage underground so yeah we've got a lot of storage and then all i've got to do is fill it all up which will be fun that'll take me several months we'll get there yeah, we've been building bits and pieces here and there I'll have to have a look at your guardian farm at some point, Steve. I need to look look into a guardian farm as well for prismarine. I think it's a material that I want. Without being like destroying the temple every time. Run out chests. So guardian farms give you prismarine, don't they? Really? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, but yours works. So, was the tutorial okay? <laughs> you followed it, obviously, but... Right, am I going to scream at him again? Ow, oh, he's over us. Yeah. It's anything like his raid farm, I'll, I'll end up putting a comment up that I might regret. I don't like doing that. I don't like leaving negative I literally didn't say anything about the raid farm. I just left the video and just thought... A few versions. Okay, good. I want to have a look at that as well, because that's definitely one that I need for future designs. Yeah, uh, RT follows it as well then. I don't know if JC's actually got one. I'm not even looked to check, but... XP farm. I've still not found a better way than the smelters for XP, to be honest. I don't think anything in bedrock could be much faster, but then I suppose it's the time taken to actually like set one up and get it going. But by the time you've built up XP in it, like normally I'd have that running, but I should have glass going through it right now. In fact, again, that's my bad. I'm in the warehouse, I've got the XP machine, and I don't have it filling up. I can do that with the XP machine. I had, I redid all my tools the other day, um, like nine, and I think twelve tools in under thirty seconds, and then I had ninety levels in like two minutes. 
50 tridents. Oh, God. I'm not sure about that. You have to build a trident farm just to build the... Oh, yeah, and that's the excess. Oh, so I'm going to need chests under there as well, am I? At least a few. That level. Not that. That one. Place it all. Don't want to go any front. Oops. Right, so that should be the runoff for anything that doesn't get filtered, which I should never put in there, to be honest. But you never know with me. Where's the blocks? Don't have to clear the water, really. I don't like dealing with sending stuff to the nether either because I've not really sorted anything out in the nether at all. Like, I haven't got, like, you've got pathways and stuff getting around, which, again, is something I need to do. Like, I need the ice roads and everything. I'll get it in there eventually, but I think at the moment we go for the most basic. And then maybe as we progress, as I get better at it, Hopefully things will improve and get better. I still see myself as a novice. Still. Hmm. I might have been thinking about that farm the other day then when Jenny said. And I thought maybe it was the raid farm. I think the Guardian farm is one that I really, really want because I really want the Prismarine. Like the Japanese village side of things, there's lots of Japanese villages that do the roofs in like Prismarine to make it look like sort of a jade style. And I really like that look. I want to give that a go. Obviously it means farming a lot. And like even the little bit I used for the ponds outside pretty much used up what I had in one style of the Prismarine. I don't think in the dark Prismarine I've got virtually any. I'll do only six stacks. Why won't you place this block? What? Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm aiming at that one. I wouldn't place that, I swear I was aiming. Missing something here. The ability to click buttons, apparently. Making a meal of this. Oh, it's because I'm just not aiming at the bottom of the. Okay, more chests. Have we got any more chests in storage for chance, sir? Please, sir, can I have some more? Oh, yeah, look, we've got a few. But I did all the hoppers, didn't I? Oh, and I need to do the bubble column to go up and down. And then I have that. Mm. 
sourcing the magma block from blocks. Didn't bring any out with me, did I? Interesting. Thank you. I'm going to add that to the list as well. Even though that's one that I really, really want. So that might get pushed in front of everything else. That is my way. There's very few that I'm like determined to have. But I think that's one that definitely ticks a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, I filled up again the other day. Put some more lanterns back in at least. That was a good boy. I did what I was supposed to do. I got materials ready. See again, I think like this, I hate having boxes with the picture on the side when you have to click the box for it. It's fine if you've got multiples because then you can just go in and go dump. But I hate the fact that you do that and you end up not clicking it. I really don't like them like that. Here's where he Jesus that. Oh, I see lanterns gone. Still got two hearts left to do. Yeah, no, I definitely want better system. You may abandon the base at some time. Go for proper storage. I guess we still keep bits and pieces in the base. Still got our little expensive corner. Shiny materials. Gollum would love it here. Shiny. My precious. That didn't land properly, did it? Did it damage? Let's not click it. Signs, yes, we've got the eight signs. The sign of the times. Don't really need to put blocks in here, I could just put them in there, that makes it safe. Also squares it off nicely, which I like. Did I do it with the other one? I swear I did. Yeah, blocks in as well. I don't know why it just makes it look. I like the aesthetic. <laughs> makes it look finished rather than. It's literally cutting corners, isn't it? <laughs> Where the expression must come from. Don't cut corners, especially on elevators. Sort out the floor, and I've got um, 
Let's go and have a look at the materials left in the raid farm because I need some smooth stone. Also, basically, check what it looks like. Thought this one through. Make sure I didn't. Oh, it's just this. Then I'm up to there and there's a door there, isn't it? Sounds for our using. Where are our using? That's hey spruce. Does he look like spruce now? Eh? You an oak sign or you a spruce sign? Must have made oak signs. Surely, if everything's made in oak cross, you did it in oak. I don't know. Do, 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 do. spruce they're much lighter oh well mezzanine level has oak signs because they're posh so I'll get those out which means they need to be floored in which means I need the next two blocks to go in but I also need more of those to oh do I yeah, because they're slabs, aren't they? So it's one. Oh, I don't suppose I do. I just need to put those two in, don't I? That's weird. Why did I think I needed... I think probably because I... I block round the hole as well to make sure it's secure. But... Put that and that in. I can't do it yet, can I? I've got to do the water first. Russ, what have you got to bring? Which means these are probably going to fall in there. Aren't they? No, you're good. <laughs> blocks, blocks. Does it matter what block it is? It's just something that... Uh, That we're going to lose and waste. What does kelp grow on? Because kelp will grow on a normal block. I'll put a normal block in. Will kelp grow on a sandstone? One way to find out, isn't there? I'm making a meal of this. Anything but glass. I say, which is good for my aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned, Russ. No, generally not. Yeah, I need to go up, don't I? I need to go up, up, up in the world. Yep. Yep. Yeah, join him on.
all these all in. That's weird, isn't it? I just looked at that and thought, I've not walled them in, all in, but it was the ceiling that I didn't put in. Which... Pretty sure I can just put in that block and that block. That's just weird. Do, 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 do. Water sources. Oh, that's why. Sometimes, Russ. I break those blocks and put in the two blocks in the floor and that's why I wall off the floor so that I don't put take those out water goes in floods it all out all of those torches are getting washed out that's why I wall them off oh yeah I always I did it with this one I block off all the way round and then I swapped the things out and I just thought, oh, I don't need to because I'm just going to put the two blocks in here and here. Why, why am I brain dead? So now I've got to dig underneath, wall it off, then I can change them. Mm. And I haven't got, and I don't suppose it matters what blocks I use, just sandstone would do, wouldn't it? Or does it have to be slabs as well? No, it needs to be smooth slabs to add to those. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slabs. And I've only got three. I suppose I have to do these and then replace them at some point. Sometimes I make myself wonder whether I'm actually paying attention. But then, like, and it's got to be the other side of that one, on that one, that one. I need to do it from there. This is too technically advanced for simply building something simple that I've made an absolute hash of. Right. And then they should just be, I've got grass blocks, two solid blocks. And that way when I take those two out, it won't leak. Correct for us, maybe? I mean, you just got to get out of the hole that you've just dug. Yeah, get there in the end. <laughs> what a way to do it, eh? I can't believe it. I didn't do it. I did it right on that one. I swear I did. And then I've got to find some more smooth stone and fill those back in again. Right, so these should be safe as long as they don't go right through. Watch me now dig right through these. No, because it's grass underneath. Yay, get wrecked. Oh, chests. Right, and you do up on the left. Down on the right. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, we have a mezzanine level and a, uh, employees only, uh, trained staff that know how to operate the machinery level, please. Yeah, are you supposed to be up here, sir? Oh, I'm sorry, this is a uh, staff only. We can exit out onto the... 
I do like my new tree building structure as well. It has a very good uh, look to it. More chocolate. Hmm. I might leave it like that and not put the middle bit in, to be honest. Might even leave the beacon there. I'll get more together. Just looks funny. Anyway. Uh, right, they were doing chests, aren't they? So. But there's no this level to mezzanine level. You've got to go down and then come back up again. some smooth stone from somewhere. Right. Oh yeah, they were doing chests as well, weren't they? I'm looking at that one, but it's not this one. Hopefully we don't have enough glass blocks for all this. Blocks for every section of the world, is it? Entertainments. Okay, not going yet. Sixty three, what? There's seven picture frames gone. Oi, tea leaves. Oh, I know. There's some there and there's some here. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I thought so. Cheeky. Chests are all spare chests for filling up down here or filling up my second storage unit below. That'd be useful. I keep wanting to walk that way. Where have I got some smooth stone? Ooh, ooh, yes. That's just going to annoy me otherwise. There might be some over by the raid farm if I had any left, but I'll get rid. There should definitely be some down here. We should definitely have some extra storage and storage facility.
Smooth stone. Hey, look at that. And slabs. How many did I need? Like nine? Check this. Oh, we need those for the bit at the top that was missing five blocks as well. I could probably take more, but I think that's what I need. Never take more than you need. Rubbish. Fill it up. Take as much as possible. That way you don't run out halfway through. Could have made that a triple staircase as well, Russ. Should that be a triple staircase? I have a feeling it should. Oh no, because I'm putting an elevator in as well, aren't I? No, it's okay. Oh, I'm looking at it thinking that looks weird. Feels weird. It's all good. We Gucci. How many did I need? Two, four, six, seven, eight. And I've got nine. Yes. Oh, and relax. <laughs> We're happy again. I should really have put the entrance on the other side though, Russ. Should have put the entrance on that side so you walk in and you face the way you come out, really, shouldn't I? Yeah. Now, why is that going to annoy me? It's because the turning round bit, the entrance and the exit on the same side, means you have to turn round. You walk in and you have to spin round to come out. And I don't like that. So do I put the entrance this side so that you walk in, go up, and walk out. So it means I'm going to get water go everywhere, but the floor's secure, so I think we're good. I might take these out, move them round, and put them the other side. Does it matter when you knock the signs out? I mean, obviously the water's going to flood out, but doesn't change the bubble column, does it? That bothers me. We've had a flood, call a plumber. That's better. <laughs> I just like it when you I don't like walking round in on yourself and then having to turn around in the column and walk back. It doesn't feel right. Why would you design it that way? That would be an idiot, Russ. Only an idiot would design it that way. Right, and then we're going to do some under the floor. No, under the light lighting. So maybe every gap. Do we do it there, or do we do it there? Or there? So we can reach up there as well, but that's by the packed ice. Does lightning... Um, for now we'll do it on the lower level. 
the eight and my mistake previously, so I'm just going to fix that. Is it solid all the way through? One's got a gap, and all the rest got a gap. Yeah. That one's a gap. If I knock something out of there, I'll be really upset with myself. Don't do it. That knocked another brick out, didn't it? you do. It's just a brick that's in between. Hang on, why is that one doesn't have it, but that one does. Doesn't have it. That one doesn't have it. So is it just that one that needs taking out? again, what's going on? Why is it shaking so much? No, no, why? Did not do that. Wasn't me, Governor. Totally innocent. I may have the mouse in my control. It doesn't mean I'm in charge. Oh, it kind of does. Right. Okay, there's those two and the seven. I think I double clicked. Hey, <laughs> stop that. Oh, oh, what? There's a mini game that you could do for Minecraft. You have to place these as quick as possible. You can see where people make a mistake, where they put the picture inside the picture. Frustrating with that be. No, 
that's excess materials, so it will never sort. And that other thing I was thinking, possibly... One thing with this is, the minute you start putting lanterns across in a pattern, you use a lot of lanterns. <laughs> like, a lot of lanterns. <laughs> I've lit this storage place up like a Christmas tree. First time we turn the mobs back on, you watch a bunch of creepers spawn and blow me up. I mean... You hang a block off the end just for... It won't look out of place, will it? I could actually put the extra blocks in there and there. Eh, it's got a lantern on it, it's fine. That's that look. Mm -hmm. Now I need to get the main materials out and up, or out and stored. Get the picture frames off them, although I'm probably going to have to picture frame everything below as well. And I use a lot more picture frames. So I have got loads of animal hides. So these are coming out of this system. To these boxes or those boxes and then I've got a picture frame those boxes as well okay so that does me a lot of picture frames which is why I got spruce wood yes uh, the chests the wood box, why is all the wood in this box? And the spruce we want to use for some sticks. skins from the base for picture frames and then I can put picture frames on all of these at the second level which means there are then all sorted then we can add the rest of the chests in down here although all of those don't have to be full they just have to be too high I think these are going to be four high and I can make those too high so that we don't have too many chests underneath and then a second row can just be a row of chests, maybe, for the first ten. And then you see all these still empty. Yes. So if we get these in the correct order, get the picture frames made. And I can move all of this lot across. Are we going to leave those there or not? A long way from that side. Maybe it will stop me stacking up too much. Like if I leave that as a back wall, 
right bit chesty there, it looks good. Bit of glass. Let's put glass over the top that way now. Yeah. One, two. Mm, I'm taking out all of this section and moving that over there, leaving this section in. So these will need picture frames as well. Oh, good lord. I end up with a million picture frames. These picture frames. Well, I take out this row there. So the overflow from there has got to go across to there, really. And I don't want this row in, because otherwise I'm not going to see the picture frames. And it and it negates the point of making 70 picture frames. Hi, Mr. Kitty, please. Welcome back. <laughs> Still booming and ahhing about the storage, only I've shortened the drop so that it's not so laggy. So we've got a mezzanine level. I'm good, thank you. How are you today? Good to hear. It all goes out of focus when you. Yeah, we'll cut the storage to a mezzanine level so that it doesn't lag out, hopefully. It doesn't struggle with FPS. Uh, we're doing the storage, main storage. So we've got a sorting system to drop stuff into. It will sort out. Basically, I just want it for, it does look cool, doesn't it? Sorting out the stuff you dig up. It's not really for everything else. I'm not going to put, you know, random bits and pieces in it. It's going to be cobblestone, andesite, diorite, grass, dirt sand that's it really so we bung that in there it sorts that out for us and then we take it out and put it into chest storage underneath and across and that way we've got bulk sorted you know the other like 50 are just for look <laughs> But yeah, it took us a while to build the facility and then to actually get this sorted. I've made a few small errors and we're correcting some of them. I like it. I like the look. I love elevators. They come up to our mezzanine level. Just sorting out the picture frames. And then... That will probably complete this level. Is it lit enough? Do I have to put lights on the back as well? See on Java, don't you get the thing where you press the button and it tells you the light level for the block? Like, why don't we get that in bedrock? I'd like to know, like, you know, this level is high enough for this square. Or it's high enough for this square. Because there's no light this side, or that's too far away. I think I've got to put lanterns down the back as well. Mm. They always get done, don't they? Anyway. We're on peaceful, so it's good. <laughs> I am the source of all light in my world. Cool, that's a bit. In Java, you can bring light with you. Anyway, actually the mezzanine level looks quite good. Quite like that. I don't mind a mezzanine shelf. 
I'm glad I set it up high rather than lower. Yeah, I do like that. And get these other chests in. It will look more like a storage warehouse. Uh, oh, picture frames I was going to do as well. Hmm. It's good because I've just built. I need to top top view. Uh, another tree. Uh, it's kind of a tree farm, I guess, but another system so that I can cut down trees that aren't four by fours. So this one, because we've got our two by twos, which we put on the little platform, which is good for spruce and jungle. But I wanted acacia and oaks. So I built another water system, collection system, and then set up a little walkway for 31 trees to plant so that I can run around in a circle and cut down trees, hopefully continuously. Another little part of the build that took up the last kind of section of normal grassland, which again, looks very aquatic, kind of pulls it all together. We're looking more... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, we got a little horsey again. So he wants to pull it all together. Uh, oh, we can't see it there, but we started to build on the raid farm as well. You can see it there. Oops, I'm on the redstone. It's all beginning to come together a bit more and look slightly more impressive, yeah. Once the raid build is complete, I'll be happy with this, this side of the base. And then we'll maybe start looking the other side of the aquarium, the other way the base goes. Oh, the sun comes up behind the raid farm. Looks better at night, I still think. See him watch the sun rise. We've got to build the pathway across, get the villager up. And once the village is in, it should be ready to set going. But yeah, we've got to deal with the villager first, which is always. Underwater monument. As in, uh, no, I'd already got an idea for a base that I want to do underwater because I'm going to do an Atlantis, like a glass domed base. I really didn't want to take a, a temple. I've already knocked down two Guardian temples. And I've got coordinates, I think, for four more. So, yeah, I wasn't going to do the typical sort of temple build. I want to do an underwater base, but it's all just going to be a glass dome, hopefully. You know, there's a possibility there's one going in under the ship that I've started. So, yeah, it just depends. I might I might build one prior to the one I was going to build. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but it just happened to be the way that the lay of the land was under the ship. Doesn't make much sense, as I say it, without actually seeing it I guess but again while we're up here we can always just drop can't we? go out our window instead of out our door um, oh what did our, our two um, the gold farm system I'll have to go and have a look I'm going around having a look at stuff I'll have to go and have a look and see what it is you wanted to have a look at I can't remember, I think it was just the sorting system. Oh crikey, it's many rockets away, isn't it? I didn't really have forgot how far away the Japanese village build has been. <laughs> we still need to sort things out over here. The trees still need doing. The Shinto shrine needs doing. And then the garden and groundwork for the last big build needs doing as well. Uh, those trees still need finishing off.
Ooh, up and over. Come on, you can do it, man. Kick your legs. And you need to do the Shinto shrine. Sort out this. And do the garden. But this one over here, I started the, the boathouse for the Japanese villagers going in here. But I wanted to build a ship. So I put down a, an idea to build one of the, you know, like the big, massive sails and everything. But when I did it, there was a little cave with water in. It didn't let me go down. Which I put sponges in to get rid of all the water. So. comes out under the ocean with a view so I don't know whether to make this glass and do a glass base under the ocean under the ship see you later Steve no worries dude and there you go, that's better, you can actually see something now. So this might turn into my glass base under the sea. Dolphin! <laughs> As opposed to just building one randomly in the ocean, I might dig this out, convert it all to glass. And then it will be under the ship build as well, which I think will be good. I hope it will be good. Like an entrance from the ship. So you uh, come down, you land on the ship. There's the turtles, and you get turtles and the dolphins. Oh, he's trying to get up onto the ship. He's up. Good job, bro. Both of them are up. <laughs> you got visitors. And they're going back again. They want sand is what they want. He's back again. Yeah, so I'm thinking that might be my glass base. Rather than doing a temple base. I think I'm going to stay away from just doing the same things that I've seen plenty of other people do better. They want, a, well, they want their sand back, yeah. They're like, what are you building here, mate? Is it going to interfere with our sand? It's like, you got all that sand. Why do you need the island? The island is mine. I've claimed it. Look. And then I'm just going to build a little boathouse roof and like normal row boats. The little boats we get. Pop a few of those in there. It's part of the Japanese build. But this will be the mega build, mega build ship. Hopefully with a couple of gigantic sails made out of wool. Mm. Yeah, I'll come back to this. And I obviously stuck in a uh, water breathing as well while I was here, because why not? Alright, Dolphin, how you doing, dude? Um, yeah, I need to sort all this out. <laughs> glitchy as glitchy can be. But I figure like a lot of this under the boat here. I forget where the cave comes out. It's down there somewhere, I think. Some good cave systems. I don't know where the glass actually is from. You get down on that side, you go across, round and under. I assume it's one of these. Yeah, because you could see the reeds, couldn't you? Yeah, quite a myriad of cave systems to deal with. I figure there's got to be some way I can incorporate all this into a good base under the ocean. The only thing is, if I dig all this up... Oh, there you go. How did I not notice that? 
the glass is just there. And now if all of this is a glass base and you can look out, then maybe it's good because I don't have to dig up the ocean and all this will stay. So maybe we just turn the whole bottom of the boat into a glass bottom boat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Three turtles. Four turtles. Hang on. Is there a rat with them? You got a rat with you? you name them. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. Hmm, cut my render distance down again, didn't I? So you can still see the mesa biome and the jungle. The next plot of land we have to move to, right over there. <laughs> Grasslands, plains. What am I going to do with all this desert? Convert it all into glass. Got an awful lot of desert. An awful lot. Hmm. All right, I've got to pop over to the gold farm and show the sorting system, so that uh, I don't know if R two is still there or not. Uh, I'm making it. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Uh, the orange subway in the aquarium, the orange side to the aquarium, has got what are essentially like railway arches going in at the moment. And uh, I nicked all the rail system to move the villagers around, but it's supposed to have a rail system in as well. Oh, this is where our gigantic uh, tree city is going to go. So this area here is already designated as a tree city. Uh, it might have been a while since you saw just what I was doing on this side. Because I... Oh yeah, there's all the chests I need to get rid of. Yeah, I've kind of abandoned the habitat spider side for a bit. Came in on the orange side. Yeah, underneath here. I put the archways in. So it connects Traders Hall to the Breeders Centre. But it's supposed to have a minecart rail system running through it as well. It's going to have one down here just haven't got to it and <laughs> the rail system keeps getting used to move villagers out to the farms I need to do all the roofing for this properly as well too many big projects Russ <laughs> too much to do not enough time to do it all I keep coming back to stuff and filling it in but There's so much to do. Yeah, I literally, I think I had rails down here at one stage. This had a rail system, but I needed it to move this lot. What are you boys doing? Well, this goes down to the gold farm anyway, and I'm going to the gold farm, so I might as well run the length. Yeah, got all our villagers in. We've just got a last enchanter that we need done. I'm literally down to stonemasons to do, which I'm thinking of moving away from this lot up to the other end. Our last enchanter today gave me sharpness 5. Okay, it costs 64, but I don't care, it's still sharpness 5. 
Um, yeah, unfortunately, I nicked all the rail that I was using up there because we breed our villagers here. The kids evolve in here, and then I take them out and up to the gold farm and uh, oh, the iron farm I made. So, unfortunately, I nicked all the rail. I needed it all. <laughs> I was thinking about ice roads the other day. That's next on the list. It's not. It's on the list. It might not be next on the list. There's too many things on the list for us. We need to cross one thing off the list. Oh yeah, went to a nice water ravine. little cave system is that diamonds up against the wall looks like it doesn't it that looks like diamonds to me mm. all right i'll go up to the gold farm i'll look at the gold farm so that if uh, r2 wants to see what the system is he can have a look and check Yeah, this was fun, pushing 20 villagers through here to try and get them up to the iron farm. This is 900 blocks in total to get up to the end, and then up in the air, 200. And actually it was up and across, so it was probably like more than 1,200 total for each villager. Five at a time. Could have got in a minecart rust would have been more fun. Oh, I saved them all because I had to get them up. Yeah. I had to get them up in the air, 200 blocks. Um, so I used redstone blocks to power it up. And I had to put a block every four steps. And I had to go up 190 levels. So most of my redstone was outside pushing them up into the air a lot of my redstone is outside pushing them up into the air plus uh, the powered rails to make as well was uh, it's quite expensive materials wise to get it done but i had to push them up turn, i had to turn them round face them the other way so they had to go up here turn round go back the other way still quite a long walk isn't it i'm getting there i think Yep, here's the stairs. Um, yeah, it was interesting. It's a different way of doing the build, I think. So I powered them up here. Like every four steps, a redstone block and a powered rail. Gold farms in there. Up here. I don't know if you were here for any of this. Then they turned the corner and went up here. Up past the gold farm. get up to there so I had to get them all the way up and then across so it was a lot of rail and a lot of redstone and a lot of powered rail <laughs> a lot of everything basically and a lot of headache I lost five villagers in doing it three died and two were nitwits it's not too bad back into our regularly scheduled gold farm and R2 wanted to have a look at this system I think which is the normal clock this is just for reference for R2 later I think uh, and oh yeah the fun part of the build putting the lava inside and blocking it off so these sort out Gold bars, gold nuggets, and your rotten flesh, and then your swords. I don't furnace the swords, I let the swords go into the lava and we burn the swords. And then I've layered these down. So our gold nuggets go in there. 
Yeah, she goes in there. Gold bars going the far side. And I've got five stacks to deal with. Got to deal with all this though as well, actually. Oh, hang on. Not too bad. Two chests. Third chest in. Uh, so I've got to convert all that onto that lot into bars and go and take it for the piglin trade and then convert all the rotten flesh into emeralds with a trade. <laughs> Lots of trading to be done and I've still got yeah, a few blocks left. But these, these are fairly well in there, though. Yeah, the rotten flesh fills up. But I hope R2, if you watch this back, it's the basic redstone clock into the hoppers obviously they drop down and collect above there filtered in I forget what that is dropper dispenser oh yeah the redstone hopefully that answers his question Makes sense. The redstone on the floor, redstone on top, comparators. And that's just the sorting system that we use. Obviously, the trident killer is the basic trident killer everybody uses. Hope that all makes sense. And my weird build for getting out. Back into the old gold farm. And the on off switch is there. And then lighting, for lighting it up. Again, lanterns to keep the theme. It's not really lit in the corners. I could probably put more of these in, right up each side. So it's more lit when it's on and it's glowing than it is when it's off and uh, just a big hole. <laughs> but yeah, actually, it spawned quite a lot of mobs in here at one stage, so I lit it up with torches as well as lanterns which don't normally do but for some reason this area really did light up didn't light up well and had a lot of mobs there llama let him come out you can see our raid farm and our creeper farm and our storage and our iron farm all coming together nicely Right, I'm going to call it there for today, I think. I think I actually got something done. I know I did AFK twice today. I apologise for that. Shopping and uh, maintenance needed to be done. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow. Regularly scheduled time, 12 till 4. Hopefully with no interruptions. Thank you for the follow today. Thank you for everyone who dropped in and chatted. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Bye for now.